Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your main event. You know who he is. You know why he is last. So let's all look at Jeff Sokol. Autumn is in the air. And this guy is bringing pizza to the door. Jeff Sokol is no pizza delivery man. How is it possible to look both 12 and 71 at the same time? And also, everybody please join in with me here at the obligatory laugh at the predators photo. <laughs> He worked in the insurance industry as an auditor, but he says he now drives for Lyft, the ride-sharing service. This is why I only get taxis or buses. He then turns the conversation very personal. Seriously, my guy, what is that photo? How did you think this looked good? So they keep going through the message that this bum asked her, and it becomes apparent that he's watched Catfish. He asks for a custom pick and Tetrad sends it, which makes you wonder, does somebody at Tetrad have underage girls on speed dial? I suppose Chris's next target is clear if so. As a 44 year old guy, I shouldn't be talking to 13 year old girls like this. You know, I could be put in jail if the police found out we were intimate. <laughs> In fact, dinner is delayed. Sokol is late because he says his pipes sprung a leak. If only there was a plumber around to fix this issue, eh? So after his plumber fixes the issue, Jeff arrives two hours late. Sorry about that. How are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> no, because it's really dark out. Oh. I seriously don't know why the door sounds like this. He wasn't the first or the last predator to show up, so why does the door creak this much just for him? That's a long drive. Yeah. Okay. I'm <laughs> really nervous. Oh, you gonna be hot? No, I'm sorry. I absolutely adore how the decoy is keeping such a large distance between herself and Jeff. Plates are so like, so like. What Jeff says about the pizza has been talked about to death, but I want to add that it looks absolutely delicious. Then I remember it's American food, so it's probably not that good, but I'm willing to bet it's an exception to the rule that American food sucks. Those plates are behind. So like, so like the, um, the small pizza is like almost as big as the uh, big one, so. I didn't, I didn't know that. Like, like you said small, so I thought it would be like a really small one. Yeah. Oh, she's so confused. I love it. I don't like come like this far to like meet someone. I don't know why I eat out with that. It's kind of crazy, huh? It is crazy. Yeah. Why did you let me come? You won't. Well, I mean, uh, she's a child. She's not the one who is supposed to be dictating what you guys do. You are an adult. So take some responsibility, you conniving cretin. Why do you think I came? I think I know. This decoy's mannerisms are very good and totally makes me believe that the predators would believe that she wants to be with them. Maybe, I don't know, I expected you to have dark hair. Did you? My hair just, it lightens up in the summer. And, and no, I'm not saying, I mean, I think you look <laughs> you don't great. Like it? I she played that off very well, have to say. I'd say she is probably the front runner for the best decoy of this operation. Sokol talks about a marriage contract and even suggests they elope. Who do you know this is going to officiate a wedding between a rotting pile of human excrement and a 13 year old child? What kind of pizza we have tonight? Uh, it looks like a pepperoni, but from this angle, it could also very easy just look like that and that'd be a meat feast. So Chris grills him like somebody would grill a pizza and they have a back and forth until Jeff decides to start eating. So Jeff stays in denial that he did anything wrong, as in he admits to talking about a marriage license with this kid, but he sees nothing wrong with that and this whole time he keeps eating and it's noisy and disgusting to look at. What's wrong? What, what, is that against Coming the law? to meet a young girl? Yeah, is that against the law? It looks like here you wanted to come here and have sex with a 13 year old girl. Okay, is, there, is that against the law to like... To, to have sex with a 13 year old girl when you're 44? Yes, no, it's meet, against the law. To meet, to meet a girl, that's all I've done. You see how this looks. You, you, can, you can talk, you can, you, can, you can converse, but 
it doesn't mean I'm going to do it, right? Throughout the interview, Jeff will not stop laughing, and it's really creepy. This isn't a laughing matter, Jeff. You are potentially looking at some serious prison time. I mean, what the You can't find any... Had nothing else Older girls? I can, but I had nothing else going on. So you this man looks like the human equivalent of the Gruffalo. He's not finding any other girls. And even before I left, right. I was thinking, I'm not going to have sex with her unless it's legal. It can't be legal unless you wait until she is of legal age. Good rule of thumb is, if she's closer to potty training than finishing college, maybe stay away. So you talk about a plan to make it legal. I will make it legal. So they talk some more, Jeff said that he might marry this 13 year old girl like it's an actual relationship and not a creepy child predator attempting to manipulate a child. Then we get to the all important question. Do I, I mean, do I seem like a, like a, like a dishonest, dirty person? Survey says. So Criff plants the knife into him a bit more, tells Jeff who he is and finally the cameras come out. I don't wanna, I don't wanna talk anymore. Okay. You, can, you can leave. I'm gonna shut it off. Why do predators waste their breath asking that question? Do they really think that there is any possibility that Chris is going to say, oh yeah, oh yeah, we can shut it off. Sorry, I didn't realize you didn't want to be filmed. But in all my years of catching these guys, I've never had an offer like this. You can take your pizza if you like. You want a slice? I'm good, thank you very much. Uh, but you have Chris. Gregory Stewart offered to give you pizza in exchange for his freedom in Ocean County, New Jersey. So Jeff leaves, the cops arrest him find some Viagra and take it away. He waves his right to remain silent, and the arrogance he displayed during my confrontation comes out in the police interrogation. Overconfidence is a flimsy shield. So you're gonna, you're gonna marry a 13-year-old girl with her mother's permission? Maybe when, maybe, maybe when she's 16, I would do that. How's that, why is that like so hard to believe? It might have something to do with the fact that you were planning to groom an underage girl for three years, you demented, dim-witted dickhead. Luckily for everyone in the world that isn't named Jeff Sokol, Jeff's arrogance led to his demise as he went through three lawyers and eventually pled guilty to three charges for 30 months inside. However, that's not the end as Chris Hansen still has something to say. I have never out of 315 or 320 in all the investigations had anyone ever offer me a piece of pepperoni pizza. Which despite what I said earlier, is actually true this time because Who's Your Daddy NJ was offering a supreme with pineapple. And that folks was every episode of Hanson vs Predator reviewed. Thank you all for watching, if you did enjoy please leave a like, comment and subscribe and please remember to donate if you can, every little helps. Thank you, and I shall see you all later.